come with us on a trip to Kano in mid Wales, the kind of idyllic village that seems to have one of everything. One pub, one church, a local shop. Oh, and a major Class A drugs factory, as was. This was the scene of a notorious drug bust, Operation Julie, named after an officer involved. She inspired the clash. Police smashed an LSD lab in this old mansion house following a surveillance operation involving a caravan full of plainclothes officers living hugger-mugger in a muddy field. Millions of pounds worth of acid was produced in these cellars. It was a large proportion of the supply reaching the streets of Britain. Farmer Hugh Thomas saw it all happen. Yeah. They didn't have shooters, did they? No, I didn't see any of that with them anyway. No. And this car came into the yard with four persons walking out of it. And we knew straight away there were police officers. And, uh, and they, they commandeered the digger. The police took, took the digger over and they dug the well out. It sounds like something out of the Sweeney, though. I mean, <laughs> the, the police grab the JCB, the digger, they, they, and then they go and pull for, the well out. For, yeah. Quite dramatic. Yes, yes, it was. It was. It, I, uh, well, something like that sticks in your mind. Like, of course. It? Pure LSD crystals were found buried in another part of the garden. For a time afterwards, police recovered drugs from near the mansion. But did they get it all? One person who doesn't believe so is former policeman Steve Bentley, who was once holed up in that cosy caravan on surveillance duty. From the bar of that one pub I mentioned in Kano, Newsnight spoke to Steve, who now lives in the Philippines. That stash is still buried there within the grounds of the mansion house. OK. So then I check with a former colleague and I say, hey, hey, was a dig, was a thorough search ever made of the grounds of the mansion house? His answer was no, because of the passage of time. So could there be other intoxicants in the village apart from the legal ones? Oh, well, I'm just talking to people, particularly recently, I don't think anyone's completely discounting the possibility in that there was the lab equipment hidden in the well. They'd made an effort to hide stuff. So the fact that they may have hidden LSD is a distinct possibility. Yeah, can we? Come on then. It was time to call on the former drugs lab, now home to the thoroughly respectable Sue Marsh and her family. This was the cellar where the illicit magic happened. Sue's husband keeps his fishing tackle here. Have you had any psychedelic experiences in the house, Sue? No, but, but we do have a ghost. About? We do have a ghost. A ghost as well. We have a ghost up in the attic bedroom. Really? Yes. Well, I think it's do. a Victorian lady, little in white with a a, a, um, a black apron. But yeah, I think have she's. Have you seen a, her? Yes, I've seen her. Well, that could be the acid. No. Oh, do you think it could well, be? It could be permeated. Oh, you're you know. Do you think I could be picking up some? Maybe. I mean, you know. What's the best interpretation, the acid or the ghost? <laughs> Not sure. We've had the police round every day, yeah. And what have they been doing and saying? They've been guarding the house and guarding us. And I'm thinking, why? We feel safe here. We did think, though, last week that we may have people um, coming up, digging into the woods. My son found some jars, sealed jars, and he's handed them to the police, but we've had no feedback. Is there a fortune in contraband in these here hills? And could Newsnight succeed in unearthing it where others had failed? What do you think? Could we be close to the stash here? Do you sense anything? Can you smell anything? You getting anything? No, I don't. I don't think there is nothing here that um, you might find, uh, smell it. But I can't. You can't. No. Perhaps I'll have a mooch about and see if I can find it. <laughs> Shall I? Yeah. Well, a little you, bit of daylight. You're, 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 you're welcome. Yeah. You're welcome. Nah, nothing. 
It's not like us at all, but it's almost as if we've been wasting your time.